Uh, for me, it feels awesome um, to be on that stage and um, obviously with Reba and Dolly and um, I feel like the tone of this whole award show is just one of love and respect and encouragement and mutual admiration um, and the open is just going to be amazing. You're going to see obviously us up there, um, but maybe some people you haven't seen at, at the CMAs in a while and just remembering what is amazing about country music and about women's roles in country music, what was amazing, what could be amazing, everything in between. Um, it's just going to be a, a really beautiful night, I think. These are the women that I've grown up with, that I've admired, that I've toured with, been on stage with, hung out in dressing rooms together. So it's going to be a really fun night of, I, I, that's what the problem is going to be at rehearsal. They're going to say, okay, girls, girls, we gotta, <laughs> we got to get to this. We're going to be visiting and chatting and having a wonderful time reminiscing. They will know the songs when they hear them. That's a good good enough tease, isn't it? I think so. Um, songs that I've loved, sung along with. And we have people, um, you know, obviously that aren't with us anymore. We have some, some songs represented by other artists, other current artists that it's just going to be really kind of cool tribute moments. We just wanted to jam pack the CMA Awards with women, so there are a ton of performances um, by females, but also moments where there's other, you know, f uh, CMA winners that come up and present or introduce other people. Um, we really just wanted to jam pack it and just, just I don't know, just do it in the in the most wonderful, respectful way, and um, just have as many ladies of country music in this show as possible. And um, like I said, I just think it's going to be a really wonderful night, just celebrating. Women have always been very strong in country music back in the good old days when they were the opening act and then here comes Loretta and Dolly and Tammy and to really pave a stronger pavement for us to, for, to come along and get to headline and win female vocalists, win Entertainer of the Year. So it's thanks to them that all of the females are going to get to be performing on the CMAs this year. Well, we've already announced that I will be doing Fancy. And I wanted to do that for the fans because the fans, when they watch a TV show, they want to, you know, be able to sing along and hear a song they're familiar with. And and uh, on my shows, when I tour, the show's not over until we do Fancy. And my biggest thing about how to get prepared for this is finding the right outfit, something that I'm comfortable in, something the shoes that I can walk in and look good but be comfortable. Um, I mean, we've been on phone calls and stuff like that, dealing with script stuff and, you know, been looking through everything as far as who's going to be out introducing so-and-so at this moment and um, done lots of fittings, lots of tailorings. Um, you know, the nails need to get done as well. <laughs> um, I got my hair did. <laughs> um, all of gotta those things. The nails did. Yeah, we'll be ready. Got to get it. Got to get it. Got to get it done. Just want to put the best foot forward there. Um, but yeah, we we still have rehearsals to do uh, for individual songs, for the group number, um, script meetings. There's there's lots of things. We're just getting started. Just getting started. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been such an incredible um, album cycle and tour cycle, and just a, an incredible year. So, you know, you don't want to hinge hinge all of that success and all of those feelings and happiness on on any a, one award or awards. But um, it's pretty exciting, and I'm honored to be in such great company. And we'll see what happens. It's going to be an incredible night, regardless. I hope they walk out saying, this is a great night of entertainment. I had a wonderful time. Got to leave all my worries at the door. I walked in, got to see a lot of talent, got to visit, have a wonderful time. And then when they leave the, after the show, they're charged up, ready to go face the world. Love it. I want, I just want people to, to see the show and be like, dang, there's some really talented women in country music. Yeah. And I, I want, uh, one thing that, I've, I've always said is really a positive about all of the conversations that have happened about women in country music is that we really have all banded together and made it a point to lift each other up and take each other on tour with us and um, encourage one another and be fans of one another. And I mean, I, I feel like this night's gonna represent that, you know, to a T and 
hopefully people just leave and you know want to want to find out more about the women that they see on the show and and others that they didn't get to and just dive deeper and hope the love for women in country just grows even more. I mean, some of my favorite memories, obviously I've had some really great, great times on stage and this is my 12th year hosting, so 11 previous years of, of um, wonderful mem memories with Brad and um, one of my favorite moments was uh, our 50th anniversary when we had that incredible open and I feel like when we were in rehearsals, um, and everybody was just loose and catching up, much like we're about to go do um, for this this open this year. Um, I don't know. I was just standing on stage and just seeing everybody thinking, how is this my life? And these people that I grew up listening to and still listen to and am such a huge fan of, um, like I'm on stage with them right now and I wish everybody could kind of feel what I was feeling at that moment because it was pretty cool from walking down with the big train and the dress gets hung on a nail or something and so you stand there a little bit till it kind of <laughs> leaves and comes on with you. Or the red dress and with Linda Davis singing Does He Love You and uh, sitting in the audience after I had Shelby and it's, uh, you know, glad to be back in the swing of things. It's lots of great memories at the CMA. They've always been very, very good to me.